Hi, this is Pictures Up. When people speak of those great film props, we think of big set pieces. However, even the simplest of objects can be used to breathe life into a scene. For example, what if you have a scene where the main character feels lost and vulnerable? In this instance, the plastic bag is not just a plastic bag. It could mean something more. This is what makes props so fascinating, because by themselves, they are nothing. But once they are attached to a character's emotions, they gain power. So, first off, figure out someone's inner feelings. Then, show it through a prop. Sometimes, objects convey the same message as what characters are saying. But most of the time, what characters are actually thinking is not brought to the surface, but stays within the subtext of the scene. Watch this and see how the prop implies what the scene is really about. When the chief gets a job where the pay is 50,000 bucks and asks the interviewer if he wants it, <laughs> followed by, obviously, he wants the job badly. Coming in at number two is character nuance. Think about what kind of photo or poster a character might hang up in their bedroom wall. What kind of light switch? What kind of phone? Hold on for a second, I'm, I'm on my hamburger phone. Or Jewel's wallet. I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. The more unusual prop the main character has, the deeper of an impression they leave on the audience. Here's a great example of how props reflect who the character is. If you haven't watched this TV show yet, just take a look at the character's morning routine and take a guess as to what the main character does. If you need a hint, he's a serial killer. Let's go deeper. Metaphor. Take a look at this lamp. The couple in this movie start a journey, hoping to find the real waterfall from the image printed on the lamp. But eventually, they break up. When one of them reaches the falls alone, he feels sad because there should be two of them standing there. As for the feather in Forrest Gump, not only serves as a metaphor, but also as a motif. Every time it shows up, there are some subtle plot changes emerging, which give different metaphorical meaning. Also, such simple repetition implies the passage of time and the change of circumstances. The drama it creates is much stronger than any imposed narration. However, not all objects have interpretations outside the objects themselves, but they still function. Specific props can bring you back to a previous scene, causing you to recall the detailed moments and reawakening sentiment from audience past. <laughs> Number five, performing with props. This not only helps actors' natural performance, it also lets them use the prop to its fullest. Watch here. The teacher knocks the book on the desk. Which functions as a hint for the students and the audience to take notice. It sets up a big moment that's about to happen. The movement of the props can also be used as cutting point in films. Look at this. Also, if you start with the master shot, then insert a close-up of an object as a transition, you can cut away to another shot. As you can see, a prop is not just a simple object used to dress a scene. It has infinite possibilities, but it's up to you to make them happen.